Hi YouTube, Timothy Unkert here. In this video, we're going to install Ubuntu Linux using the Microsoft Store. So the first thing we need to do is open up the store. So I have it pinned down here, but you can also just search for the Microsoft Store. And once that comes up, click to open it. And Microsoft Store boots up for Linux. And you want to first install the Windows subsystem for Linux. So I'm going to click Get. And it's going to ask you to make changes to your device. So you just let it do that. And then it's going to go ahead. And now it says installed. Now what we need to do is restart the computer. So I'm going to uh, pause the video, come back and restart the computer. And I'll see you once I restart. Okay, now that I've restarted the computer, I'm going to search for the Microsoft Store again. Open that up. I'll type in for Linux again. And you'll see one of the first things that comes up is Ubuntu. I'm going to click Get. Once that goes and downloads and installs, we can click Open. And we can close this down. And you'll see it all open here. It says installing. This may take a few moments, so we'll wait for that to go ahead. Okay, once that goes ahead, um, we can enter our username. So I'm just going to enter Tunkert. And then I'll enter a password and confirm the password. Okay, so now Ubuntu is installed um, and I want to update everything. So I'm going to type sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade with a dash Y. It's going to ask for my password that I just made. So I'm going to enter that. And that's going to go ahead and update. While that's doing that, I'm going to click on the plus here and I want to show you a little bonus. So if I do control comma, it's going to bring up the settings and I can go to defaults here. And let's say I want a block cursor. Well, I can go to appearance and I can go on down and pick the cursor shape and I could do a filled box like that. You could also do um, vintage underscore, regular underscore, double underscore, or an empty box. I'm going to keep the filled box here. And you can also change the um, theme that you're using, the color theme. So you could do, well, let's, since we're doing Ubuntu, let's do the Ubuntu color scheme. I'm going to click save. Now, if I close this out, you'll see that now this has gone ahead and updated. And you'll see that we have Ubuntu with the Ubuntu color scheme here. One other thing, if I do control comma again, and let's go to defaults. I think this is in defaults, but um, if not, we'll look somewhere else. Um, no, it's not. Maybe it's on startup. And you can do launch size. You can change the launch size here. So if you want a smaller terminal, let's say you want 80 columns, like a traditional terminal, you can do that. Um, launch parameters here. You can center it on launch, so that's kind of cool. And so let's save that and let's make, let's actually pin this terminal here. So we'll pin it to the taskbar. And instead of having the default profile be a Windows PowerShell, let's just pick Ubuntu and we'll save it. Okay and then we'll just exit out of here. And if I want to access Ubuntu right from the taskbar now, I can just click on this. And I've got my terminal that's uh, 80 columns wide and centered in the center of the screen. So hopefully that video was helpful to you. If it was, uh, please like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And thanks for watching.